Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome to Assassin's Creed Unity. This is a new series that I'm doing. It came out two days ago for me uh, on Friday, the 14th of November. Today's the 16th. I don't know when the first episode will go up. Probably tomorrow at the very latest. Um, but yeah, this game looks really cool, interesting. I've been a massive fan of Assassin's Creed since it started. Um, and I've played everyone since, love them all. Uh, and this one looks to be the probably the proper next-gen one. I mean, I played Black Flag, Flag on the PS3, not the PS4, and from what it sounded like, it was more of like a, a bridging kind of thing. It wasn't really a full-fledged next-gen game. Hopefully this is, uh, because obviously it's only been released on the next-gen, and we'll just go ahead and get into it, and hopefully we're going to be playing an awesome game. lives inside us. Encoded in the double helix are the experiences of our ancestors. After three decades of research, our engineers have forged the cutting edge of biotechnological interfaces. We have unlocked the lives of our forebears. We have opened a window into the past. Woo, science! This is total immersion entertainment. Yay! With the press of a button, you will experience the most pivotal moments in history. All from the comfort of home. I love the comfort of home. Welcome to Helix. Helix? Awesome. <gasps> Abstergo Elimus! Oh no. The Templars have made this. It's gonna be bias. You know it. I know it. We all know it. It's gonna be biased as fuck. Okay, we got the tragedy of Jacques de Molay. We've got the triumph of the Borgias. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Didn't he get killed by an assassin? I'm pretty sure he got killed by one. Ezio Azidore. There's Altier there. That's pretty cool. Um, there's Connor. And then there's Kenway. And all that sort of thing. But anyway, let's not waste time. Let's get into the tragedy of Jacques de Molay. Um, and it's a five star rated thing, so obviously it's pretty good. Jacques de Molay was a man of principle, a towering intellect, betrayed by those he trusted. In That's this tragic. episode of Fallen Heroes, experience Jacques de Molay's final tragic hours through the eyes of one of his closest friends and advisors. Okie dokie, let's do it. I'm, I'm really excited for this game, I hope it's good. Uh. I'm going to be doing a crap ton of this as well, Shadow of Mordor. So if you're new to the channel, make sure you go and check out my Shadow of Mordor series. And if you're into FIFA, I've got a FIFA series going on with Manchester United career mode. Go and check that out as well if you're interested. Uh, but anyway, more on Assassin's Creed because uh, we're not here to talk about FIFA, we're here to talk about Assassin's Creed. Let's do it. Ooh, that's a pretty castle. Paris, France, 13th of October, 1307. It's a long time ago. That's a very firm door knock. A friend of the temple. Flaurac, the council's message was absolute. You're not welcome here. I must speak with the Grand Master. He's in session. They all are. Another day, perhaps. King Philip disagrees. Oh, you just got monopolized. Checkmate, motherfucker. Why you're not rotting in a cell at this moment, I cannot fathom. And he's dead. Damn, dude. He got wrecked. Okay. So what now? Oh no, it's the Templars! Draw a sword, men! Defend the temple! Oh fuck. Not you, brother. I have a different task for you. Come with me. Uh oh. Hey! Wait, first things first. Before we do anything. Uh, sound options. Subtitles! Okay, need them on. Just because I'm going to end up talking quite a bit and you guys are going to want to hear the audio. Or at least... Uh, read what they're saying in the dialogue, so yeah, let's follow De Molay, Jacques De Molay, I'm assuming. Another hand is at work here. The Pope and the Assassins. Oh. Assassins. I thought 
The Mongol Khans broke their power decades ago. The assassins Four. are far older than Massacre, my friend. Their anarchic delusions are virulent as the play. Less easy to eradicate. Wow, what a knob. Fuck you. Assassins are awesome, bitch. We will not prevail this night. But if you make haste, we may yet save our order. What must I do? Go to the town. Take the sword and hide them. They must not fall into the assassin's hands. Oh shit, so we're, for the first time in the Assassin's Creed series, I believe, we're actually fighting against the Assassins, which is pretty crazy. That's unexpected. I, this is weird, yeah, we're, we're, we're being a Templar and fighting an Assassin, I'm assuming. That's different. Hopefully that's not how this is. This game's going to stick, because I am I am an Assassin person. I, I like the Assassins, not the Templars, fuck that. I mean, I doubt that's how it's going to go, but, you know. Still. Uh, oh, there's a window here. And climb. Yes. Oh, wait, no. Climb. Yeah, there we go. Climb up that thing. There you go. Good lad. Oh. Oh, there we go. That was pretty convenient. Let's go up there. There we go. This Templar is almost as good as an assassin. Oh, man. Awesome. Hey, dude. You gonna, Are you dead? You, you seem pretty dead. Stop it! Whoa, okay. So, what now? I wonder. Oh shit, he's dead. And that's the assassin. No! No! Whoa, dude. This is pretty ridiculous. Come on, get up there. Oh, he just got through there. Of course he went into the hay. Of course he went into the hay. Oh, that's just assassin tradition. Oh shit. Okay. Let's just, let's get to him. Quick. I can get to him. I need to kill this damn assassin. Even though I, I, I love them. At heart. I need to find the motherfucker now. Oh shit. Oh my god. A dead. Oh. Oh man, that was pretty crazy. Oh. Whipping your ass, motherfucker. Oh. This assassin is just not good enough. Obviously, he's just not good enough. Come on. I dare you. Come on. Do it. Do it. Fine, I'll do it. Oh shit, where did he... He's not going anywhere, is he? Oh fuck, yeah he is. He's gone. Chase the motherfucker. Come on. He's got nowhere to run. He's doomed. He's doomed. What? Oh, shit. Let's kill the motherfucker. Come on. Oh shit. There we go. Oh, was that in the balls? Because that was nasty. Oh shit! Oh, that's a cool sword. That's a pretty cool sword. Wait. Holy shit! What the fuck? What? That sword is OP as hell. I want that sword. Someone get, get me that sword, please. And that was a random arrow. Was he. Wow. Okay. Ooh. Spooky temple, or tomb, or something. Underground place. The Templars hideout, maybe? HQ? Oh, that's cool. That's ahead of its time. I mean, I think. I don't know, is it? <laughs> I, the sword is definitely ahead of its time. Jesus Christ, that thing is crazy. That thing is before Ezio's time. And it's way ahead of Ezio. Bloody hell, that sword's cool. Well, there we go. Seems like the two naked people are holding up the sword in a statue of sorts, which is uh, quite fancy. And there we are, safe and sound, except for that. Looks like perhaps Jacques de Molay is screwed, and that's an assassin. Oh, looks like he's dead. Can't, gotta say, I'm not that upset about him being dead. I'm not a Templar fan, so there we go. The assassins win. Woo. Although, the Abstergo thing is meant to make us sing. No! Boo assassins, they suck. But seven years later... Uh... This happens. Don't quite know what this is. Oh, they're getting burned to the stake. Jacques de Molay is getting burned at the stake. Hear me? He's being burnt alive, that's pretty crazy. You will answer for your crimes before God Almighty! And you, King Philip, 
no punishment is too heinous for the great evil you have inflicted upon the temple. I curse you! Curse you to the 13th generation of your blood! You shall be cursed! Damn! Consumed in flames of hunger and wrath, thus came the age of true wisdom to a blistering close. The Knights Templar, once the proud shepherds of order, peace, and illumination, were no more. Oh no! What a shame. Yeah, a long time ago, I had a trophy. Us, pull me out. Wait, what? Okay. I have a visual. Hey! Hey there. This is probably disorienting, so I'll be brief. I'm Bishop, not my real name, obviously, but that's as much as you'll get ah, today. Okay. Please listen carefully. Abstergo is using you, hijacking your neurons to help them sift through genetic memory data. These guys throw at their fingers in countless corporations, governments, media outlets, and NGOs. Corrupt and bastards. Now, they want control over history itself. <gasps> if that doesn't frame you, it should. But we're here to stop them, and I need your help. Okie dokie. Deacon, preload gene sequence uh, AD16, B13, I87. Yeah, oh, it's him! What's his real name? Last week, we I gave access remember. to a bank of unsequenced memories in Abstergo's Helix servers. For now, we'd like you to experience a small sample. This should help you understand our struggle. Okie dokie. And after that, you can decide for yourself what comes next. Awesome. We'll be waiting. You'll be waiting. Okie dokie. Sounds like that was planned, so, um... I'm assuming they're the assassins. I mean, of course they're the assassins. That guy's working for them. I'm, s I'm so slow. Okay. Anyway, loading. Saving. Loading. Here we go. This is different. Oh, now we're in 1776. 27th of December, just two days after Christmas in Versailles. I think that's how you say it. I'm not sure. I might be saying it wrong. Oh dear. Arno. Arno. Isn't he adorable? Papa wants you. Can't I go with you, Father? Courage, my boy. You wait just here. I will return when this hand reaches the top. Okie dokie. That's forever. No, it's not. Not as long as all that. And when I get back, we'll see the fireworks. And Arno, no exploring, hmm? Yes, Father. <laughs> oh dear. Come on, Arno, you can't be exploring, but can you? Of course you can. That's a very big hole, and lots of old stuff. What the hell? What is that? <laughs> that guy looks pretty ridiculous and painted up. Oh, look at her. She's all fancily dressed and all that. All colourful and stuff. Is she like... I'm guessing we're meant to follow her, right? Yep, following her is what we've got to do. Run! Okay, I guess we just... Okay, I'm following. Jeez. I'm right behind you now. You better hurry up. Let's go. Of course I'm coming. Oh, shit. You're sucking pig. Oh, no. I'm sorry. Come on, let's go. What is wrong with you? Let's go. Yes. Woo. This must be fun. Hopefully, hopefully no one's, like, following us. What now? You're encouraging me to steal? You're like the devil, encouraging me to steal the apple. You're like, I'm like Eve to you. This is terrible. But I'm gonna do it anyway. Oh, shit! No! Fuck, I'm sorry. Break your pursuers line of sight to create a last known position. Okie dokie. Oh, fuck. Do you know what the penalty is for stealing? 
Nope. Can't say I do. Oh shit, I better run. Oh, I should have hidden that thing over there, if I could. I don't even know if I can. I think he may have just... No, he hasn't seen me. There we go. Where's the girl? Where's the girl? Oh, she's over there. Okay. Hey, dude. How's it going? Just, you know, chilling, having an apple and all that. Okie dokie. There we go. Oh, man. We? Oui? I was the only one that did it. <laughs> I'm Arno, Elise. Hello, Elise. I'm here with my father. So am I. He has important business with the king. That sounds fancy. What should we do now? Shh. Listen. Oh dear. Don't worry. Sounds I'm dramatic. For us in here. It was my fault. I'm the one who took the apple. Huh. Let's see where they're going. Sounds like that. She just stole the apple. What a bitch. Give me back my apple. Ugh. Well, I guess we're not actually being chased after for the stealing of the apple. It looks like something else has happened. Uh oh. Oh no. Oh no, I can see what's going to happen here. Oh no. Oh no. Shit! He dead. Oh no! And the watch is broken. Oh, and the hand almost made it to the twelve. Oh, how sad. <laughs> Come away, boy. No! Damn, that sucks. Oh, the watch didn't make it to the top, and now it's broken, and it'll never make it to the top. <laughs> That's so damn sad. Uh, God damn. That sucks. <laughs>